Okay, so now that we've messed with the JSON data a little bit, let's use JavaScript to actually pull this data in. And let's start building out this log file for use for Ajax. We'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, pre-tag with the print R. And uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna change these here really quick. So instead of data, call this JSON. Change that here too. And then instead of array, call this data. And really that's just for consistency across the project and what's up on GitHub. Okay, so save that. Now we're gonna go over to index. And let's go ahead and just take everything here that we just created, even the, the uh, TR, and cut that out. Save that, hop over to log, and add that in on the log. Um, and actually we can obviously get rid of this and just leave the for each loop. So we save that, top over to our browser. Let's go to log.php again. Oh, we need to change the name of that uh, here to data. over here, refresh, and you'll see we are missing the icon function. So while we're in here, this is something we'd have to do later anyway. Go ahead and include our functions file. Save that. Refresh. All right. But this looks silly, but it's actually exporting what we want. We do have view source here. We're getting each one of our table rows. <clears throat> so let's hop back over to index. And we can actually shrink this up here if we want to. And we need a way to uh, identify this table body. So let's give it an ID. And we'll just call this log. All right, so now hop over to our JavaScript, and we need to populate that. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use the load object in jQuery, which is basically the same as using this Ajax, it's just a little bit simpler, it's kind of shorthand for it. So we started JavaScript or jQuery object, log, say load, we're gonna load the log.php and it's gonna take all the data from here and toss it in. So now of course we don't see a we don't see a change from the last thing that we just did. So let's really quick comment this out and save it. Hop back over to the browser, hit refresh. Okay, so we have an empty table which is what is showing up here in index because we don't have any uh, information in the table body. But we go ahead and uncomment that, save, and we've just dynamically loaded data into here. 